Hey guys, for Shree Star here, in today's video, I want to show you how to fix this error message if you're getting unable to verify security response when you're looking to update to this new security update that's available for your iPhone, which is 16.4.1a, as you can see here, but this might apply to other versions as well. But if you're not able to do it and it gives you this message and each time you retry it fails, there could be couple reasons why this is failing and walk you through the steps of this update itself. So generally you see this if you're going to settings and if you haven't updated your phone you go to general software update and what's looking for update as you can see we're already up to date but if you get that error message that means a couple things. Your first thing is at the time a lot of people are downloading this update right now so you might have to really just wait to retry again a few minutes later maybe five ten minutes later because your region might be already pretty much jamming up Apple server so just give it a moment or so and try back again later now if you want to try some troubleshooting steps here the first thing you can do here is go ahead and check your internet connection and kind of do a quick refresh to do that we're gonna pull down a top-down menu here and we're gonna turn on airplane mode for a moment and then we're gonna turn it back off and all that does is as you can see here all these icons around connectivity are refreshed again so that's a kind of quick way to test to make sure your internet is working now you after done that go check to see if that update is available for you and you can try to download it again now if you're still getting the issue the next thing here that we want to do is a force restart of our phone so to do a force restart you're going to do volume up volume down and then hold this big side button on the right hand side again that's volume up and down one after another really quickly which is important and then you hold that side button we're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and then we'll see the Apple logo reappear one more time here and then we let go of that button. Again, make sure you press volume up and down quickly one and after another. If you don't and you click on the side button, Siri most likely will activate. So up and down really quick and then hold that side button completely till the screen goes black and the Apple logo reappears. This method will not delete any of your data or anything like that. All it will do is kind of reload the code again and making sure that if there was a any sort of software related issue around getting that update, it should resolve that. Now after you have done that, the next thing to do is checking the your iPhone storage here. And if you can go into settings, general, and you're then check out iPhone storage here. Now you want to make sure that your phone has available storage available. As you can see here, if you're using up all of the space out of like the max amount, most likely it can't download any of those updates anymore. You'll have to go ahead and start deleting things like apps, videos, photos that just generally take up a lot of space, especially video. You can review the list of things and how much space they're taking up. I generally like to st start with big videos because videos tend to take up a lot of space on your phone so you can clear uh, and make some room for it. And then the other thing you also want to check out to see in this list if there is an update that the phone made. Sometimes the phone does try to do an update and that update has to be deleted. So check those updates. If it is, go ahead and delete that old update that you might have here, which it will say iOS update, which here we don't have it, but if you see it, you'll notice right away and there's a way to delete it by clicking on that and then clicking on delete uh, update. So after you have done that, the other thing you want to do is if you're still having an issue is doing a quick network reset. And this is going to be around if you're having any network connectivity issue in the settings here. You're going to go to general and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. And you click on that. And then the very first option for reset. And the reset that you want to do is the second one, which is reset network setting. But before we do that, you have to understand what this does. This will go ahead and delete any network related settings. Like if you have saved Wi Fi, VPN settings, those will get reset and help your phone reconnect again. Once you do that, you would have to enter the password and VPN setting again. But again, quick way to do that. Also, around VPN is if you have a VPN set up here in the settings general, and then you want to check to see if you have any kind of VPN setup. Sometimes you have to disable or remove those VPN as well. It could be restricting you from updating to that version that you want to update. Lastly, if all of these methods fail, what you'll need to do is update through your computer and you can use it through a PC or I for on a MacBook. You can download the iTunes app which is free to download to be able to update it which is covered in another video we'll leave that video link in the description section or the comment section so check that out on how to update through your computer so hopefully this quick little video was helpful so please make sure that like and subscribe button and i hope you can go ahead and download that update for your phone thanks for watching guys see you guys next time